What's up guys, gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Loverly Planet Base. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. Hopefully, I think we're about to hit... Oh, we only hit 99. Well, what are you right there? You're a visitor? Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. Who the hell's a visitor? And why are you here? Oh, we have an armed intruder. Armed intruder! This has never happened before. Get him, guards! Shoot him in the face! Oh, there it is. Oh, laser gun fight, and he's been destroyed. Do we get to confiscate his wallet now? Give me some credits. So what happens with the dead body? Where does that go? Do I have to put that anywhere? Can we feed it? Can we make it like that movie on the train with the gelatinous cubes of, like, roach meat? Can we turn him into food? Can we put him inside of a processor somewhere? Hell yeah, we rule. Good job, guards. Good job, guards. You held it down. I knew I could count on all of you. I don't know why that intruder was coming in here, but apparently he decided it was time for him to intrude. He was ready to go. Everything right now, I've discovered inefficiencies in our base design, but that's okay. That was to be expected. I told you at the beginning it was going to be inefficient because eh, I'm still playing around with stuff and having a good time with the game. We ran out of spares. See, that's not good. That's really, really bad. And so I need you guys to, like, prioritize that ish. We don't really need the semiconductors anyway, so power that down. But make sure that people are working on spares because we need that very, very badly. The processing plant, it's all good to go. What I'm going to do with the processing plant is I'm going to make this a big processing manufacturing center, and off of this one, each finger is going to produce more stuff, and people just have to go the long way around the building, I guess, to get to the mine or something. I don't really care what happens to them. It'll be fine. They're miners. Don't worry about it. They'll be okay. They're tough people. They don't mind having to walk a little bit further. They'll get it sorted out. This canteen over here is bumping, which is exactly what I was hoping would happen. This one's looking good. Food surpluses are... High and looking nice. I was wondering why our population didn't go up when that guy landed on our planet. Now I know because he was intruding. He was coming after us. He was trying to destroy us. So is this not going to fill up with air anytime soon? Or like what's going on over here? Might need another oxygen generator. Seems possible. Seems possible. Totally doable though. Not even that big of a deal. We can pretty much slot this wherever. Like we can make a big one too if we really want to. And in fact, what I may do is I might move this airlock right here over to this side, maybe. I like how it shoots meteors that it doesn't even need to shoot. Oh, yeah, we have power issues, too. I forgot about that. So I should probably work on our power situation real fast as well. So if we're going to have an outdoor power situation, I actually built a lot of stuff. We did quite a bit of expansion in the last couple episodes. And that is going to make us into quite the target for power issues in the coming days. Now, because I have resources, I can circumnavigate this slightly and make it work. But, had I not the resources, we might actually be in trouble right now. I think that's another reason why we're having so many problems with spares as well. Just because... We are not producing at the rate that I would like to. Now, are all the fabs functioning? See, they're not even using all the fabs right now, so... Makes me a tiny bit nervous about what we're actually accomplishing here. What have you got, amigo? Driller bots, I think, fill in for miners. So if I could buy, like, one or two of those, that'd be great. Go ahead and do that real fast. I have plenty of medical supplies anyways. They're pumping them out pretty rapidly. He's dehydrated. All right, so in this manufacturing center, I'd actually like to get the layout sorted before I do anything else. It looks like all of our batteries, our juice is filled on up. That'll be nice. Hopefully, we have a windy evening so we don't have to worry about our power falling off in between here or, you know, the next point in the game. Those two nices shut down. I'd prefer to keep parts coming. It says that I should get two parts each time that I do this, I think, or two spares. I'll have to watch. The other thing is that they never finish their jobs. Like, sometimes they walk away from a job that's like 90% done. I'm going to watch this real quick. Yeah, it does produce two. So that's good. They're going to go through these pretty rapidly, though, because the parts are used to repair all this random ish out here. And so, unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot that I can do about that. 
I may also increase our power storage out this way. Maybe just turn this entire area into like a battery farm, basically, so that we have maybe like 10, 20, 30 redundant battery arrays that'll just take care of everything. They just fill up over the course of the next like 10, 15 episodes. We'll just have like a stupid amount of electricity so we don't have to worry about it. I'd like to do the same thing with water as well. Actually, our water system appears to be tapped out. It may be time to add a couple more of those. We have what looks like a biologist coming in. Let's get some more suckies real fast. Where are my suckies at? There's one. Everybody loves a good sucky. Probably put one right there. Just to keep things moving along. Really seem to be having trouble staying on top of spares. So... What I may do is get rid of the gun thing. And I may replace it. We'll get back to gun manufacturing in a little bit, but I may put a spare machine in right there. I might also do the same for semiconductors, since we have a whole bunch of them anyways. And I'll just turn this into the place that produces our spares for right now. Because we need to get on top of this. Long term, this is going to get real nasty for us if I can't keep it under control. We got another driller bot right there. You got a big commission though, man. You're hurting me with those commissions. I don't really have much for you right now, actually. So does the driller bot, where does he go? He's in the mine right there. Okay, so he just fills in as a human so that you don't need a mine. I need a miner. That's pretty good. I can accept that. We may breeze a bit through. Oh, we're out of water, too. Yeah, that's why I told you guys to build a sucky thing over here. Build the connector first, these kids. There we go. Give me a couple more of these little guys. It looks like the water table fluctuates, and so you have like feast and famine periods. I like watching things fill up with water, don't judge me, but I'm gonna watch right now. Where is it? Fill up with water before mine eyes. Power monger has been reached. What does that do? You're now generating a ton of power. Good. I like power. Power makes me happy. If I had to live without electricity, I could do it, but I wouldn't be happy about it. I would definitely drag my feet. I'd be like, eh, how long are we doing this for? There we go. Fill those tanks back up, although given the speed at which those drained out, it makes me a little bit nervous about it. Century has been reached. It's going to be an episode for milestones for us, isn't it? All kinds of milestones being hit. I definitely think I should scoot the starport back. Basically kill that off real quick and then move it out to this side, maybe. We're seeing a disturbing lack of spares being produced. Alright, so in here, we need metal to make more metal, which is unfortunate. I mean, technically, I guess, if I can get this to the point where it's actually producing, what I could do after that is I could fold up production over here and fill this in with other things. We've got a big food supply right there, and I'm proud of it. That's really, really good. I'm glad that we got a lot of food over there. We may have to trade into some spares for a while. May not have an option. Technically, I guess I could convert these into plastic fabs instead. Once I get a bunch of these done, still. A couple more people that can work with us here. Although really all I want is workers. Power storage is low, unfortunate. And we've lost our last constructor bot, I think. Did we? Oh, that's CNT-10, okay. Power storage is critical. What that means for us is that we need to get back up on top of building some batteries, but we don't really... 
Come on, refocus, solar panels. Refocus. You gotta give them the riddling. You gotta make sure they're not bouncing all over the place. They get excited about stuff. You gotta curb that enthusiasm aggressively. So what's filling up right now, you? Okay. Gonna need some more power. Or at least some more power storage. Production. Ore is up by how much? Plus two. Makes me feel pretty good about our prospects over here. I mean, every single one of these little pistony things is moving along. We are producing. It's just there's often a little ramp up period in between, like what you want to get done and what actually gets done. These should fill no problem by the end of the day. Aggressively trying to stay ahead of parts right now, but it's just not functioning. Everything is just waiting, 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 waiting. This guy's depressed. Got a guard standing around over here. I think we just simply don't have enough workers. I mean, I just really, really starved for workers, unfortunately. And I can fix that by making it so that we only get workers, which I think would be the best place to go with this since we have so much machinery that's not even being utilized. Halfway through the day, power's all filling up, water's looking good. Metal, kind of iffy, but we'll probably be able to get by. Maybe throw one of these big bastards out here again. Hook it up to the rest of the grid real fast, because that's how I like to do it. You know me, always hooking it up. Meter destroyed on that side, meter destroyed on that side. Where's my driller drone? What's he doing right now? May try to trade off this food surplus too. We're producing a lot of food right now. Couple more workers, there we go. I really do think that if I could get more workers, we'd be able to fix a lot of these issues that we're having. I may make a public dorm out here too, since we got more people flowing through on this side. Beds aren't really being used though, so why stress about it would be the second question that I would ask, but this fab down here is running fallow. Nobody's running that one. The mines are all at like half capacity right now, so I could really, really, really use like people being Johnny on the spot with some of the things that need to get done. Parts are in recovery right now, which makes me happy. We get a trade ship. I think I get rid of some starch, get rid of some food, and really just sort of bang away on some of this stuff, and we should be all right. Everything appears to be at a surplus right now. We're not really losing anything. Medicinal plants, we only have like one pad that's producing, don't we? Yeah, I think we only have like two pads that are producing medicinal plants, so it's not really that big of a deal. I'm going to wait for our next trade ship to come through, and once that gets here, I will feel a lot better and happier about the situation. That is for sure. more food than we could ever want in some of these locations. Did I ever build that second air oxygen generator? I think I did. Didn't I? Another colony ship coming through. I'm still enabled, right? What is he, a worker? Huh, he didn't look like he was wearing the ceremonial colors of the working class out here. Got people drinking, offsetting a little bit of sadness, make themselves feel a bit better. Although it's kind of hard to keep morale up. It really sincerely is. Like, as drinking only gets them so far. Trade ship! What do we got? So he's got... What is that? It's valuable. I wonder why my tooltips aren't working anymore. Hmm... Either way, I don't really feel any shame throwing some money at this because we do have a food surplus right now just to find out what it is. Although, it might be wiser at this point to load up on the random stuff that I need rather than stuff that I don't. Because our food situation is pretty fantastical at the moment. I don't see a reason to sabotage myself like that. Make one of those right there. Maybe take another part. And then maybe some plastics. No. 
Well, then even it out with cash, my friend. Even it out with cash. Got the lion's deal right there. We'll trade it. We'll take in some metal and some parts. We got plenty of plastic, but I think the steel will definitely be helpful. Keep people trucking when it comes to producing some of these little things that we simply just don't have. I know we've run out of spares. Hmm, power storage is low. Huh, that's going to be troublesome. Especially since the wind has decided to die on us. Hmm. Unfortunate. Parts of the grid should go back up. It's not like that big of a deal. We've got wind power coming through. So, you know, it's just like chunks of the grid will go in and out until the sun comes up. That definitely means what we need to focus on for right now is the acquisition of a bit more power. Maybe put a battery out in some direction here. Perfect. Bam, bam, and bomb. Metal should be sitting at a suitable quantity. He's still waiting on a number of resources, but this should clean out a lot of our stockpiles because we had way too much stuff in some of these locations. I'll probably starch up the next guy that comes along to try to make that all better. Morale's a little bit low, so I would like for you to feel better, so video screen up if you can. How many video screens I can slap in? If I could put another one... Might be workable in here. There, give me a video screen right there. I'm gonna ramp up video screens real fast. I'm gonna try and put them wherever I can because people seem to be a bit depressed. This side, video screens. Uno. Dos. They do cost a lot of power though, don't they? And I am having power issues at the moment. I don't like how it locks onto the building once you go into the second menu. So we have a whole bunch of generators in here. I think it's going to be really dependent. It takes them all day to get some of this stuff done. So, you know, building an entire power generator in one day is a lot more impressive than it sounds. I think we will more than likely drain off. It all seems to be mostly dependent, or dependent on wind. If you have enough wind, I seem to make it. If I don't have enough wind, it gets kind of nasty. He's got the driller bot in there. He's holding it down. Doesn't need to rest or anything like that. I think the driller bots are a pretty good investment as well. And a couple of video screens in here. He's just like me. He watches TV until he can't stay awake no more. And that gives us a little something to work with on this side of the base too for when people are depressed when they got their time off. Lots and lots of vid screens. What are those costing me though? Probably a fortune, right? Trade ship. Trade ship. I'm gonna have it made ship. Okay, so I need to give you... Take those down to 20, take those down to 20, meat's looking okay. Down to 20 right there, we're not even in the region yet. Probably some semiconductors or something, then balance the rest out with cash. I want a driller bot, driller bots are dope. They make it so that I don't need miners, and the driller bots don't need to sleep or anything. They just like hang out in the mine and just like get shit done. I think we'd probably use another dorm on this side. Man, you guys are depressed as hell. Well, feel better, buddy. Feel better. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. 105 colonists right now. We do have a little bit of a stopgap at both of these locations, but we are doing a lot of transit right now, so it should be okay. If you could give me another vid screen in here, I would not lament the opportunity. Essentially, anywhere that I can stack in some vid screens sounds good to me. That looks good. General happiness and well-being seems to be low. A few more vid screens in here. There we are. Plastics are on the decline, though, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. None of these are still functioning, which is a little bit of a bummer. 
But then again, I did just have all my workers transferring things out to the paddock out here, so that might be the other issue that we've run into. I'm going to start putting more entertainment around, essentially, so that when they're stopping off in various locations, they can make themselves feel better. I can't get one right there, huh? That's disappointing. I mean, then again, this is a bar. This is supposed to be for, like, making all their shit go away anyway, so... Sandstorm is here. Not actually that big of a deal. Oh, shit. Ahmed Norris has died. Man, I lost one of my security staff. I mean, luckily, those are the guys that are supposed to die, so... You know, you sign up to be the armed guy carrying the gun. Technically, he wasn't even killed by an armed threat, though. He was killed by a meteoric fall. Poor Ahmed. All he wanted to do was go to other planets, see the universe, have a good time. Things in pretty poor shape. We might have to get that thing filled in. A little bit more food for the coffers. Metal appears to be on the up and up for right now. There we go. Now we got, you see, we got people all over the place now, gathered around all the machines and whatnot. That's what I'm looking for, so that they can actually take care of their sadness without drinking themselves inside out. I think the increase in video screens, having like seven or eight of them, makes our lives a little bit more easy when it comes to dealing with the fact that everybody's depressed. In here, I still haven't decided what I want to do on this side. I kind of want to build another bar right there. Help out with depression on the lower half of the map, but until I get to that point, metal's on the rise, plastics appear to be even. Those driller bots, they are the stuff. I love those driller bots, super useful. Power's still looking a little bit edgy, so I'd probably like to add a bit more. We got ourselves another trade guy here. I'll probably go... I mean, if you just want to even out my starches, dude, I don't even care. Just give me a little bit of money. Mining's on the up and up. Food's looking okay, although a lot of the meat is spoken for. This lab over here appears to be doing all right. I think we could use a second lab, though. Identifying things at the moment. Power is still on the edge as well like we're making it but we only have three cells left whenever we get to the end of the day water perfectly fine okay good well it's just another day in planet base here i figure a couple more workers and i think we'd be just about set for where we wanted to be we're finally making headway on parts which is great because we had some major issues with that leading on into here i think i'll probably just leave all this alone we're going to need more plastic fabs, but it'll be alright for right now. I also need this to junction off into other areas, though. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about all this. I think we're finally starting to have the workers that we need. And so once the workers are ballasted out, I'm starting to look around and I'm starting to notice that almost every area is at least partially productive and getting things done. The parts are important. If you're wondering why I was so worried about spares, because spares are what is used to fix all of this stuff out here. And if you don't have them, then you can't fix any of them. Power grid, how you holding up? Yeah, I realize my power usage has been a little bit high lately. Here comes an intruder. Let's watch him. Got my eye on you, buddy. Oh, he's an armed intruder. Guards, deploy! Deploy! Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Ba -doo, doo 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 Destroy him! That guy ran in like a Rambo. He's like, cover me! I just like rushed him. Bum rushed him. He's like, ugh! Ah, took the hell out, and now he gets to be the badass. He gets to be the badass. Everybody gotta buy him drinks. You guys had guns, and he didn't. He ran in there straight man mode. He said, not in my colony. Not in my colony. Happiness still appears to be an issue, but it might be due to the fact that I'm lacking decorations in a lot of places, too. It says that the plants increase happiness, so maybe deploy some plants. I don't know. Plants have never made me feel better, but deploy the plant. That seems like it would block a hallway, though. 
Hmm. Could also use another dormitory, I think. I may just expand this out this way if it'll let me. Unless dorms, ah, dorms are an end piece. Okay, so if we wanted another dorm up in here, where could we put it? I mean, technically, I think the time has come where I want to recycle those. That right there would be a pretty good junction for filling everything else in. Kind of looks good enough to me. I don't know. I just don't know, though. Hmm. Since that's an end piece, it creates another problem for me, too. So let's say that I wanted to put a dormitory in right here. That's actually not the worst spot I've ever seen for a dormitory. I'll probably connect to there first. It seems more manageable. But that fills it in, and I guess I'll move in this direction. We'll make another airlock on whatever's attached over here. We'll put the airport... Oh, actually, we could just put the airport out here, and then just not even worry about it anymore. Because they already have a way to get out right there anyways, so... It'll create a slight problem when it comes to stockpiling and moving things around, but I think it'll be alright. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here. We are out of time for the day. I will see you next time. I'm having a blast with this game. I know I'm bad at it. You don't gotta tell me. I know I'm bad at it, but I'm having a good time. Seriously, it's fun. And so anyways, I'll see y'all later. Hi to everybody.